Hey guys, I'm Veronica. I'm Vanessa. And, and this is a dating show where I help find my sister her perfect match. So we are down to the final five guys who are fighting to win my heart. If you haven't seen the other episodes before this episode, you have to go check it out. All the links will be in the description below. So yesterday I had an amazing day with Brandon. He definitely was the one who won my heart. There's a sound bite of a certain someone saying something to you. Here is a flashback. So as soon as Friday comes, I will kiss the <laughs> How do you feel about that, Nessa? <laughs> I don't know. Do you like it? Do you no. not like it? I don't know. You, don't look at me like you that. You like that? No, I don't know. I was very confused because, well, the cameras weren't rolling, but sound was still rolling. And if you would have saw my reaction, he literally was like, he said that, and then just walked off. And my face was just like this. I don't know how to react to that. Brandon's a bad boy. I need to talk to some of the other guys, and so I'm excited to see what they say. Especially, I'm excited to see what Alex is gonna do, because he told me he has a surprise for me. Comment down below who you think is going to win Nessa's heart in this episode. And at the end of the episode, edit your comment and say if you were right or wrong. <gasps> oh, that's a good idea. I'm pretty well rested today, so I'm excited. I have Zach as my roommate. This is the best, man. Chillest, coolest dude, man. You know, I hope he doesn't get eliminated, man. Do you know what happened with um, Vanessa and Brandon yesterday? I just know they were chatting, but I think he really likes there because last time he was talking to her up there, too. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You didn't know that either? No. I am oblivious, man. I gotta get my finger on the pulse out here. I'm feeling worried. I was in the bottom three last night, and today, I gotta bring my A game. Five of us left in the house now. Really anybody's game. I can feel the tension, but ready to take on the day. Were you scared <laughs> yesterday when you were called on first? Dude, I was terrified. I mean, yeah, I was feeling a little, a little nervous. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not as nervous as you when you went down there, though. Uh, so. <laughs> no, you were not. No, <laughs> you <laughs> weren't. No, no, no. When I got called down, I was freaking out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's up, Timmy? I don't know, I'm scared, man. Yeah. Why? I don't know. Uh -huh. Well, you got MVP. Yeah, I mean, that just saved me, but I still yeah. don't know anything about the girl. Barely talked to her. I'll be kidding. <laughs> I mean, like, I've been trying, but there's so many other fools here that it's hard to get a chance. So every day, a guy is eliminated, and with the guys who are staying, the tension is rising. And I can just feel it slowly getting more and more intense. Yesterday, when I was making the uh, strawberries, for uh, Vanessa, uh, Christian kind of came over and saw and got, I could tell he got pissed and then Alex saw and Alex told everyone. So they were all a little bit salty about that, but. Breakfast? Uh, I think I'm gonna grab a cup of Joe actually. Of course, there you go. Yeah. What? What? I want some breakfast, dude. Yeah. yeah, I do. I'm hungry. Today is a new day. The challenge is very exciting. I can't wait. I think it's right up the guy's alley. I love it. I know you love it. And I there's do? a special twist to it. Good morning. Morning. Yeah, Vanessa was really cute today. I really like her outfit. Her fit was on point. Uh, Love the jeans, little leg action, that's cool. So, happy to see you guys this morning. Are you guys doing good? Yeah. Get a lot of rest? No. What happened? It's awesome and turning. Oh. Still waiting on that one-on-one -on -one date. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope you guys are ready for today's challenge. I know this is kind of like a speed dating show, so we had to incorporate some type of speed. So today the challenge is going to be racing, but we're going to be racing go-karts. Yes. So we go go-karting like a lot. All right, why don't you guys go get ready and we'll see you guys there. Yeah. Sounds good. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, start your engine, baby. <laughs> I blew it. Good morning. Uh, blew it. Hi. Actually, actually um, brought you something. You did? That I wanted to give you before we left. Okay. You want to see it? Yeah, I All do. Right. I pull Vanessa aside because I want to give her something special. Okay. Right? Yes. So I got you a little something just from what we were talking about uh -huh. at lunch that one day. Uh-huh. Wait, turn around, turn around. Okay. All right, open your eyes. <gasps> From Harry Potter. No but way. it's like sequined, so if you like go like this, it says platform nine and three quarters. 
Oh my gosh. I love it. <laughs> oh my gosh, thank uh, you. <laughs> well, there's another one too. It's not as cool as that okay. one, honestly. Oh, well, no, it's gonna be amazing still. This is so cool. I'm gonna put this on my bed. Really? Yeah, it's a ma it'll match my room. I figured you could put it like in your bed or in your living room or yeah. something. Yeah. And then I got you this too. No way! Yeah. Oh there, was no, there was no Hufflepuff stuff. I know we talked about that, but like... <gasps> this is so cute. I just wanted to do something like without the guys there. Oh! <laughs> thank you. Oh! This is literally the sweetest thing. Ronnie, where's Ronnie? Yeah. <laughs> I have to show her. Come here, look. <laughs> look at this. Oh, cool. I know it's like sequin. I think she loved it. I don't care if the other guys see what I'm giving her, but I think, I think I've waited long enough. I really want to give this to her, and I think it's my turn. Baller move. Alex is finally doing something. Okay, let's go. All right. Let me go put yeah. this away. Yo, this place is awesome. I've never been to like an official go-karting place, so this feels sweet. Playing pool, you know, we're deciding on nicknames and I really didn't know what to choose. And Brandon's like, hey, bro, you should be Tokyo Drift. And then like, you know, all the dudes were like laughing. And then I was like, I don't care, you know, Tokyo Drift is cool, like, why not? And, like, I'm Asian, I'm the only Asian guy here, so why not? Yeah, so my nickname is uh, Student Driver. My nickname oh. is Miss Butterworth because I chug maple syrup. <laughs> I chug maple syrup. Yeah, my nickname is 6'5 because I am 6'5. Uh, I guess I'm weak stomach because I got, like, almost poisoned yesterday with sushi. <laughs> So the big twist is all the guys are going to be racing our manager, Paul. But as you guys know, <laughs> that's, that's our dad. Yeah, that's our dad. He's, He's been not. on set all week. We've been calling him manager, Paul. The guys don't know. Because sometimes guys put on this persona when they meet the parents, mm -hmm. but they've already been acting like themselves. And do you know how many guys have told me they wanted to meet our parents? I am That's very nervous about this one oh because I don't know how the guys are going to react. Here we go. So this whole week thus far, I've just been playing the manager. No one's called me dad or daddy or anything like that on set. So everybody, all the guys think I'm their manager, but the truth is I'm their dad. And today we're gonna to reveal it to him. And I've gotten to hear all of the stuff that you've heard on camera, but even off camera and the things that I've noticed and witnessed. So it's gonna be a real shocker. Are you guys excited? I mean, obviously you guys are gonna be racing, but here's the actual real challenge is you have to be that guy over there. Who is our dad? Oh. Oh. <laughs> no clue. When he got out of the cart, I was like, I'm out, see ya, I'm done. I didn't know Paul was their dad, but it makes sense just how comfortable they are around him. That one came out of left field. A little bit of a surprise. What How's up, it going? Pops? How are you doing? Good, good. You guys ready to do some racing? Yes, I am. Yeah, ready. How are you guys feeling? Not good. That drift yeah. you just did was, <laughs> that was, that was crazy. crazy. I was re expecting a bigger reaction from them. A reaction like, <gasps> what? I think I as know. soon as they heard dad, they got into like, like got in press mode. Mm-hmm, yeah. All right, so the rules are this, is that technically it's a race, but with inside of the track, there's another race. You're racing for time. So whoever can come the closest to my time, good luck. <laughs> so that's a challenge. Fastest lap is the MVP. So the time you have to beat is actually the fastest time of the day, which is 19.294. And I set that lap, Wait, so. Was that you out there earlier? Yeah, Whipping? that was me. You hit those corners so nice. Flattery's not gonna get you anywhere, buddy. So let's race. I don't think they're gonna do good at all. All the boys look so cute in their go-karts. I'm literally loving every minute of this. This is so funny, especially because our dad's around and the vibe is so different. 
We like go-karting because our dad loves go-karting and it's like a bonding daughter-father bonding moment that we can have with him. I'm sitting in this go-kart right now and I'm terrified. It's like, I'm gonna kill these guys, you know, it's just like Good Mario Kart. Luck. Good luck. Let's do this. Go, Alex. There he goes. All right. Oh gosh, I'm really nervous. Here we go. Let's go, boys. Tim's doing good. You think so? Yeah. Well, Christian's holding in there. Tokyo Gym? Okay, wait. This is Butterworks. Weak strike. Student driver. That has to be branding. Student driver. Six, six five. five. Twenty three. Alex has Alex has the fastest lap. Student so driver. Far. Student driver is um, Zach. Okay. I told oh you God. Zach was gonna be good. He's gonna oh be good. Oh God, this is really nerve wracking. Alex is doing good. If Christian wins again, that's three times he's beat MVP. They're over two seconds off of my time. I'm feeling great. I'm taking these corners. I'm drifting. I'm getting like the adrenaline flowing through me. I might win this thing. Well, Christian's drifting. Go, Alex! Go! <laughs> Let's see that's what he does. What's Brandon? Brandon's number three, he's in third. We just got oh, he second. Just, Brandon just got, got second. Between <laughs> <laughs> Alex and Brandon. You're kidding me. You're kidding me. What does that mean? One more lap? Yeah. Oh, oh no. no. Go, keep going, keep going, keep going. I'm the only one that wiped out, so. <laughs> Embarrassing from the dad. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, wait, let's see if Alex can do it. No, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going! Wait, is that it? Yeah. I was actually aggressive driving right there. I think Brandon got lucky. Alex had better lines all the way through. He was a much smoother How driver. How did Brandon get lucky? I think someone bumped him. Who got hit? Anybody get hit? Yeah. I, yeah, I, I, I hit too. I kept yelling. I was like, Brandon, get out no. of the way! I, I screamed that at him. I was like, yo, you need to move because you oh, kept I know. blocking. I yeah. Know. And then no, I hit no. you and you kind of stopped I was and I passed you. <laughs> and that's when you hit me. And that's crazy. Hi, everybody. Oh, hey. How was that? So, so, so yeah. Yeah. Wait, who had never been go-karting ever? You haven't yeah. ever been go-karting? Wow. You did all right. All right. Oh, nice. Well, we do have the results. Do you guys want to hear the results? Yes. Yeah. All right. In in last place with a t his best time was 22.498. That would be Tokyo Drift. Oh, boy. Ten. Wow. I'm really disappointed getting last place because I'm very competitive and honestly, like my mood was like, down. Like after that, like I'm like. You were like first to second in the beginning. I was the first car, so obviously. <laughs> <laughs> With a lap time of almost a full second faster, it, the time is uh, in fourth place was 21.613. That would be student driver. Uh, yeah. Student driver, he's still learning. He's still learning. He's still learning. He's still learning. You were, you were first one time. Yeah? Yes. You were first, yeah. Well, it was worth it. <laughs> All right, in third place with a podium finish is uh, 21.3 flat. That would be Mrs. Buttersworth. That's right. Which is the best one. Yeah. Dude, I'm stoked I won third place. I thought I was gonna get dead last and be out there driving like a grandma. Are you kidding me? I'm so happy right now. Second place with a time of 20.807 would be 6.5. No way. Wow. With a time of 20.753, that would be weak stomach. Weak stomach, baby. Brandon. <laughs> as far as like the smoothest driver, the driver that passed the most people, would be Alex, he passed the most. Yep. It was impressive. I would give you the best driver award just based on how smooth you were driving and stuff. So. Thank you, I appreciate it. All right, so, so it's clear who the MVP of this challenge is. And it's Brandon. Well Good job. I cannot believe Brandon won. Listen, the only reason Brandon won is because he got bumped from behind. He was in last most of the race. Seriously? No, yeah, why are people saying that? Brandon got lucky against me. I should have gotten first place. The person who won my heart this challenge is going to be Alex. <laughs> I'm excited. Like, I'm, finally, I'm finally ready to get my chance and I think it's gonna go great. Because he gave her a f 
pillow. You want his heart over here, too. <laughs> in that bro kind of way, you know what I mean? Yeah. Right. I answered cars on the test, too, so. Nice. Oh. You did. You did? Why don't you guys get ready for your one-on-one -on -one date, and we'll see you guys later. Okay. So the minute I said Alex is going to be going on the one-on-one -on -one date with me, everyone was just kind of like, uh. But Brandon was like really mad. Yeah, I don't know what's up with Brandon. He is a little melancholy. I'm sitting pretty at second to last and I'm not stressed. I don't have any problems with Alex. It's the it's the whole thing in general. Yesterday we went on this nice <laughs> date and then like after that, you would think that she would have just picked me again or something. Just, I don't know, it pisses me off. What the heck? Hello. Oh, wait, so what are we doing? Why are there goats? Just three goats and two yoga mats. Look at, what is this? We're doing goat yoga? I've heard of goat yoga, but I never think I'd actually do goat yoga. No, I've never, I've never heard of goat yoga. <laughs> How do you even do goat yoga? Are the goats teaching yoga? Or how does it work? Well, we interact with the goats while we practice yoga. So there might be a moment to where the goat will either jump on you or crawl underneath you. Okay. Why? Maybe even knock you off balance. I think I would fall if they jumped on me. I'm already not that good at yoga. I don't need a goat. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know how the goats are gonna be incorporated into the yoga, but I guess we'll give it a shot. I'll try anything once. Welcome to your practice. So I understand that we are yoga practitioners, yes? Yeah. Okay. So we'll start nice and gently. <laughs> Let's just place your hands on your knees. You're gonna feel some hooves on your back. Okay. Take a moment to see if you can close your eyes. Let the smile and the laughter happen. <laughs> okay. You better not get I could tell we're both like, like, ha ha ha, like we were pretending it didn't hurt. It was like more fun and we kind of bonded more over that. Switch. Rainbow to the other side. Oh God! <laughs> Why did it go on me? Now open your knees nice and wide and bring your big toes together. Send your seat to your heels. <laughs> I think I'm feeling three goats on my back right now. Sleeping breath is different from your awake breath. I'm just kind of looking over to her to like make sure this goat doesn't just like wreck her from the side. Cause honestly, like these goats are making me pretty un unsteady and I'm just making sure that she doesn't like get hurt or fall over or anything. Take a moment to tuck your toes under. Sometimes that helps with the balance with your feet flexed. Exhale down into your spine. He's been up for like five minutes. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna do a balance. So this is where we may fall all over the place. Okay. First, reach your left arm forward like you're gonna shake somebody's hand. Excuse you. Nice balance, nice strength. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> one goat been on me for like 10 minutes or is it just me? Yeah. It was like kind of intrusive. Like I'm trying to do downward dog. This goat is balancing on me the entire time. It was the same goat the whole time. Little bit, I think his name was. And he was just balancing on my back the entire time. All right, chill. <laughs> Alex is really fun and is making this date really fun. I just hate what we're doing because the goats are hurting my back. They're pushing me and scratching me and knocking me over. These goats, I swear. Yeah, these goats are crazy. Like they're just stomping their hooves all over me. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna balance the goat on my back. Always say you'll try. You can do it. Yeah. Wow. Oh That's great. Some good oh, pillow. My butt. How does he do that? I think she's liking the date a lot. I think it's funny. I think we're being able to like get more comfortable with one another. And yoga with goats is kind of funny. I think it was a great date. <laughs> that was so good.
probably the best double plank I've seen. <laughs> <laughs> so Alex is holding my hand and just kind of like touching me and hugging me and uh, I love this feeling. This is what I've been wanting. This is what I want. Oh, he's so sweet and so cute. He's really funny too. Take this peace, this bliss out into the rest of our day, rest of our life, and may it become infectious. We close with an, uh, an untraditional namaste, it's called ba namaste. So take a big inhale. Ba namaste. Nice work, my friends. Thank you. Ba namaste. That was so fun! I know, so. I didn't, well, I kind of wanted the goat thing to end, but I didn't want the date to end. I so. for sure wanted the goats to get off me, that's for that's a definite. <laughs> so we're back from the date, we're about to get, um, we're about to go inside the house, and me and Vanessa are talking. He, like, is looking at me, like he wants to kiss me. But I had a lot of fun with you. Me too. Today. If the date tomorrow is as fun as that one was today, I want to go on it for sure. <laughs> I don't know what the date tomorrow is. We'll so yeah, we'll see, I guess. So. I'm hoping he makes the first move, but I just, I just don't know if he will. And there was kind of a little moment there where I thought like I should kiss her. And for some reason I just I just didn't and I still really I really want to kiss her. I think I think I'm gonna make that moment happen tomorrow. <laughs> What's up? Yeah, what's up? So we walk into the house and everyone's up on the roof. So we go up to the roof and it's just, there's so much tension from all the boys. It's not just Brandon, it's all the boys. All right, well, let's like take 15 minutes and you can go shower and then we'll get ready for eliminations, okay? I'm making making a little blanket fort out on the terrace. Oh, I picked up a little zoo of stuffed animals, and I just want to have a, a relaxed night with her to kind of talk to her and spend some time with her. All right, guys, so it's time for the elimination process, which means one of you has to go home. Yeah, today was a super fun day seeing you guys race and stuff. So it's really hard for me to choose. I'm feeling nervous. My heart's like beating on my chest. I'm like trying to contain it, you know. I'm trying to stay cool, you know, try to stay relaxed. All right, in the bottom three, the first person is Tim. <laughs> Next in the bottom three is Zach. Bottom three again for the second time, but it had to happen. You know, there's only five of us. Two of them got saved. That leaves three. Third in the bottom three is Christian. Again? Like, that's the... It's the second time I've been in the bottom three, right after a really good date. Um, partially the reason why you guys are in the bottom three is because you guys got last places in go-karting. <laughs> <laughs> Zach, we haven't really connected that well. Um, we have talked here and there, but I don't know. It's just kind of things are, I don't know, iffy. And Tim, um, you're just really quiet today. We didn't, I don't even think we had even one interaction today. All of you are very sweet. And again, this is super hard for me. Listen, I slaved away at making this beautiful thing in the balcony. I bought stuffed animals and stuff like that. If I go home tonight, that's all done. The person who is safe is Christian. Oh my goodness, I feel very blessed right now and I am not gonna mess this up anymore. The person who is not a match for me is Zach. It's been an absolute pleasure. Yeah, in all honesty, I'm grateful for it. I met a lot of cool people, and I think Vanessa's really sweet, but in the grand scheme of things, it just wouldn't have worked out. So Tim, that means you are safe. You've obviously joined the guys back on the stairs. Um, hope you guys get a lot of rest tonight because tomorrow is going to be a fun day. I was bottom two. I almost got eliminated, so you know, I really gotta step up my game. First day, I was like at the top, but 
can tell I'm slowly declining, but you know, I'm gonna shoot right back up and you know, win her heart. So after eliminations, I get told to go to this room. Come here. Hi. Hey. I'm feeling bad and I feel like we haven't got to talk so much <laughs> and I was in the, the bottom three twice in a <laughs> row, so I know. Yeah. <sighs> There's some layers to this. First, okay. there was a t-shirt that you like really liked the first day I was here uh -huh. and so I'm wondering if you want to wear that. Right oh, and it's comfy too. You. Yeah, and it smells good. Mm -hmm. What if I do this? Even cuter. I'm here to uh, make Vanessa happy and do something very personal to me because I really like romantic stuff like this. I picked up a little zoo of stuffed animals. I'm making a kind of pillow and blanket fort. So Christian lifts up the blinds and reveals this like movie scene basically like the sun is setting the colors look absolutely gorgeous and they're stuffed animals did you do all this I did. oh my gosh thank you <laughs> what's that ginger ale ginger ale yeah, yay really fancy i know cheers classy this is so nice. She is glowing right now. Truly, I'm getting like a little nervous to talk to her because I'm, I'm literally flustered by how cute she is. I'm having so much fun with Christian. We're secluded, no one's around, we're just talking. I'm really enjoying this. Aww. Is it cute? Is it, it cute? Is. You are very pretty. Oh my gosh, thank you. Oh, this is so cute. Aww. Thanks for doing this. I needed to spend more time with you because I really miss you a little bit. Oh, you're big. Look at, wow, that's like a rock right there. Look at you, tough girl. In comes Brandon, glances through the window, and then gives his typical <laughs> runs out the door, slams it. <laughs> Fun. <laughs> I'm kind of shook, but you know, I'm brushing it off, talking to Christian, and I look down the balcony and I see Brandon walking away from the house. Is he, is he straight up? Should I go after him? Yeah. Here. Okay. Can't wait. Here. So I'm running out of the house, trying to catch up to Brandon. Where are you going? Me, where am I going? I'm walking away. Why? Okay, yeah, come back. Come back to the house. I don't know how much longer I can do this. Like, I don't, I don't even think like it's worth like staying here to the last day just to see that happen. Like, I actually like you, and it sucks because like I don't know what you feel at all. Can you tell me how you feel? <laughs> so many cameras. <laughs> <laughs> idea what's going on I run into the room that Christian was in and I see Christian on the balcony just staring down and we see Brandon and Nesson the, the crew with like a light tube running and chasing Brandon down the street he stormed out today I wanted to kind of do my thing and then yeah. he came in and really? threw a dramatic fit she left and mm -hmm. Oh. That's okay. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. I find her in our room just crying. Are you okay? <laughs> this is just a lot. It's a lot. I know my sister and she doesn't just cry for anything. Like I know this is taking a toll on her. Why did you run after Brandon? Well, I felt bad for him. Now I feel bad for Christian. I feel bad for everyone. Um, I think you should maybe go talk to Christian. Just at least apologize. I know he was looking for you. Okay. Here she is chasing after a guy who just threw a temper tantrum and I'm cleaning up what was a really nice date. Are you okay? Yeah, Are you good? I'm fine. I feel How so are bad. Are you okay? Oh, okay, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. I feel so bad leaving you. That's okay. That's okay. I was okay. just there kind of cleaning up and doing all that stuff. How are you doing? Are you fine? I'm fine. Okay. It's just, I don't know. I'm feeling a lot, so I just wanted to. Yeah? Would I a, felt bad leaving. Would a kiss make it better? <laughs> 
dark chocolate. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, that means a lot. You're welcome. Good to laugh <laughs> in tough situations. I'm really happy after that apology. I still want to talk to her about it and like fully decompress from the situation, but thank goodness I got to talk to her tonight. Nessa, so, so what really went down? Like I wasn't there, like I, I'm panicking. Well, I went after Brandon because I thought he was leaving and obviously didn't want him to leave the show. So I chase after him and he starts talking and basically just getting mad about the show because he says he has real feelings for me. And I was like happy about it because this whole time we've been wanting, I've been wanting to kiss him, but after we kissed, I don't know, I just started to feel really conflicted just about everything. I promise you guys that this is not staged. Um, this is all real. Like even Brandon was asking me, who, who, who told you to go do that? Who, who, who made that happen with me and Christian? And I was like, no one, no one told me to do that. Christian did that Christian himself. did that. I know, and uh, like, yes, this is a show and stuff, but it's, you know, real feelings are coming through and we're bringing you guys along with us on this journey. Yeah, today's been a lot. Oh, shit! Oh, 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 I'm not talking to you, bro. Hell no. Hell no. Dude. They think we're doing another group group date. Yes. A little do they know. We're doing the twin swap challenge on them. I'm so, so confused right now. What's wrong? So tonight, there's actually no MVP, and there's actually no bottom three, or no bottom two. Oh my god. I'm <laughs> If you commented earlier who you think would be MVP of this episode, go edit and change your answer or say if you were right or wrong. Also, make sure to subscribe to Osmus and hit the bell button to get notified when the next episode comes out. Subscribe to Osmus TV's YouTube channel. And we'll see you guys next episode.